but this one is going to just be focused on those classic ones first we're going to be looking at pos so pos is something you might not have heard of before pos was an operating system that was uh, an attempt to be a successor to amiga os so back then you know amiga was abandoned there was um not much development going on and people wanted to continue it they wanted to make a new path uh, but also kind of remain compatible so this was prodad's attempt and they were going to develop this for several different processors as well so it's going to come out for the uh, amiga power pc but also apple macintosh intel and windows uh the trans am and possibly the a box which is a, a machine that we can talk about in the future now it's pretty awesome they would have had like a level of compatibility to it so you know they would have had applications that could have worked within all of these different uh, ranges of CPU and uh, requiring no, like, you know, recompilation. So you'd just be able to use the same apps on all of these different different architectures, which would be really interesting. Um, I love this OS. You know, it's it's really fancy. <laughs> the way the Windows load is. Is pretty nice it runs really well as well it's it's really fast um there's a pre-release available that you guys can actually download um that's going to be in the description on archive.org so you can load it up give it a go on your classic amiga and it's it's very swishy there's like lots of sound effects coming out uh the gui's changed a lot um there's a, a lot more features they've got like a directory opus style explorer in there um they've got like task manager html viewer and the html viewer is very fast um unix emulation as well uh is compatible with the ffs file system and um has an updated version of the kind of amiga types uh data types uh structure it's it's really awesome like i quite like it they said uh, a few ports were Release for it a few major programs, which were Finale's Web Cruiser Suite, which included a web browser, news and email reader. And if it's anything like that HTML viewer, it should be really fast. And um, sadly, this uh, operating system died in 1998. So the only thing that came out from it was the pre-release. But man, this pre-release is wicked. I've not seen this around for years and I suggest you download it and and give it a go ju just for the look of it or the obscurity like um you know invite your friend around and load a pos on a machine just to really confuse them is this an amiga like i i really like the idea and the concept and stuff um i would have loved to have seen a bit more compatibility with the amiga stuff i don't know if you can run some of the classic applications in that i've tried a few and uh considering this is a uh kind of pre-release you know it, it won't have the the massive support but what a cool little idea and a and a cool little os next we're going to be looking at 